Hello my little mermaid friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mermaid Star Gamer, but you can call me Amanda. Today we are starting a new challenge. The Alien Adoption Challenge with Red. Red is from my Seven Baby Challenge. If you haven't seen it yet, I have it in the link in the top right corner, or you can find it in the description box below. So if you haven't heard of the alien adoption challenge, I'm gonna go over the rules. Greetings citizen, and welcome to government program H9110. As you can see, the summons of extended jury duty is a false one, but it needed to maintain secrecy. Everything you do or see from this point on is highly classified. One week ago, an alien mothership crash landed in the desert of Stranger Town, or Strangerville, because that's where we are. And when I say alien mothership, I mean that extremely literally. The craft was piloted by a single alien mother and had over 100 alien infant passengers. Some sort of strange fertility or breedership. We're not sure. What we do know is that the mother did not survive the crash, but all of the infants did. While we work to figure out what caused this crash, these offspring are going to need care and study. This is where you, the citizen, comes in. We have provided a plot of land or house on which to found your new home, and you will be provided with one of the orphaned alien children for you to care. I actually took two. So we have twins. You might think you are experienced in parenting human children, but these aliens are extremely difficult to understand. I don't mean speech. They don't know how to talk yet. Figuring out their body language is a mystery too, and getting them to do what you want them to do is even harder than it is with a human child. Oh God, I had such a hard time with the seven baby challenge. You will be placed in a housing complex with others in your situation. so. I actually didn't put him in a housing complex. I gave him his own home. It's like a mini mansion. It's one house that I built um, a while ago. So I decided to bring it out of the gallery and stick it there. Though we ask you not to cohabitate with them. Wish you, we wish you luck. All right, so getting started to create a new family. First create an adult uh, or young adult sim, which is red. They may, have, may be of either gender and may have any traits, have any aspiration, and otherwise may be designed to your specifications. They must be a normal sim. They can't be any alien, vampire, mermaid, etc. You know. Next, you must create a new toddler. I created two infants. If you want to go ahead and take a look at that, the cast is in the description box below or in the upright corner right there. You can use our toddler random trait generator. So I already randomized their trait while I was making them in cast. Assign the alien toddler as the child of your first sim. You've been there, done that. Uh, you may move into any neighborhood you want, onto any lot you can afford. You may not move into an apartment. It must be a normal lot. If you wish to use any pre-made homes, as long as the family can afford it, the government assigned housing that your sim has been placed in will have the following traits. So we need fast internet, science, lair, and a mean vibe. Okay, so fast internet, mean vibe, science lair. The rules of the challenge are simple. The alien sim may never be the active sim. You may not click on them to see their motives or current skill levels or desires, nor you may ever issue them any direct commands. So that's going to be really hard to do with infants because they, the sims don't really, they don't do anything until you, the, the baby sim, the infant sim tells them what to do. That's one thing that I found out with doing the seven baby challenge. So that's going to be fun. The only way you may guide them is with your parent. Your parent sim may use any of the socials to direct an actions of the alien child. You may, of course, provide your alien child with any and all objects you can afford. Any sort of money or motive cheats are not allowed. Okay, well, he has $99,000. Your parent sim may not take a job, nor may they hire a babysitter. They may go to the community lots, but must bring their children with them. 
they may make money in any other way to sustain the household and pay bills. Parent Sim is free to build up relationships with others but may not move any of the other Sims into the household. If your parent Sim becomes pregnant and gives birth, you may keep the child. If the new child is human, you may even directly command them, but if alien, the same never the active Sim rule applies. There is one exception to the never active Sim rule. Right before they age up, you may look at them once while paused to check their skills, their skill levels. Spend any accumulated aspiration points on perks and issue them in a single command to blow out their candles or age up. After that, you must return control to your parent's sim. Growing up, when your alien child reaches child or teen state, teenager stage, you still cannot control them and thus cannot control their traits or aspiration. When reaching the child stage, you may roll a random childhood aspiration and may not switch to a different one. The one permanent child trait must be must also be chosen at random. Once entering teenagehood, the adult aspiration must be chosen at random, as must your second primary trait. The challenge ends up aging up to a young adult. You may select any trait you want for the third primary trait. The challenge ends when the alien toddler makes it all the way to young adulthood. As for scoring, this is an experiment with an open-ended challenge. Your goals are twofold. First is to simply raise best alien child you can and the second is to see if you can visit Sixum in the rocket before your alien grows up into a young adult. How well can you raise your alien child when you don't have direct control? Play it and see and upload your young adult alien to the gallery with the hashtag mothership orphanage to see who has completed the challenge. Good luck. Okay so let's get into it. This sounds exciting. Red. I'm gonna need you to take these babies inside when they appear. They just magically appear. Okay. Put lilac in that bed. Have a child. I mean, you could have a child. We gotta find you a wife. A wifey poo. It's New Year's Eve here too. Huh. I just literally had New Year's Eve in Knott's Berry. That's funny. Somebody's crying. Put Navy down. Lilac is a snuggly sleeper. I also want to do the um, Strangerville mystery. But we might have to wait until these guys age up into kids. Or something. What are you crying about, baby? I don't know what's wrong with you. Calm down. What are you doing? Oh, he did not like that. All right, usually the kiddos are always hungry. So why don't you feed Navy? Red has reached parenting level one. Red can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. He can now reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do that action or simply yelling at the child to stop. Tummy time together. Navy just became good friends with Red. Cool. Do tummy time. Tummy time. Tummy time. What are you doing there? Talk to Navy. I want you to do tummy time. Thank you. Come on, Navy. You can do it. All right, let's do it again. Uh, Lilac hates wake up time. Okay, now we're gonna have to go ahead and put Navy down. Pick him up and put him in the crib, please. How about we put Navy in the crib? Put Navy in the crib. Put the baby in the crib. Why are you just sitting at, like staring there while he's on the floor? Pick him up and put him in the crib. 
<sighs> Can you please put him in the crib? He's angry. Put him in the crib. Put him in the crib. Thank you. Now, come over here and feed her. No, leave him alone. This is how you were when you were a kid, when you were their age. Sorry about that, Lilac. You fell asleep before I was able to feed you. Now. Tummy time. You gonna do tummy time? Thanks. We're only gonna do one because it looks like she's tired. Because I don't know what she wants. Lilac just became good friends with Red. Okay. Pick her up and put her in the bed. She's gassy. Oh, we're just gonna stare at her again, huh? Alright. Then change her diaper. Then put her to bed. Better? Don't. I thought you were gonna drop her. It's like, don't drop her. Now, let her go to sleep. Why don't you come upstairs and go to bed? Because you're going to have to get on that schedule. New Year's Eve was awful. Sorry, Red. <laughs> go change Navy's diaper. Good morning, Navy. There you go. Comfort. Can I change your disguise? No. Okay, let's do tummy time. Tummy time. Tummy time. Okay. Bottle feed him. Then go give him a bubble bath. Ooh. Happy spitter. First bubble bath milestone unlocked. Cool. Now, I gotta go to the bathroom, kiddo. I wanna go snowboarding. It's springtime. Oh my goodness. Check infant. You don't need to check infant. He needs to go to sleep. Now, why don't we feed you? And then give you a bubble bath. Give a bubble bath to Lilac. She's like, I did not want that. I am not hungry. I am smelly because I pooped in my diaper. but I'll take the food anyways, because it's delicious. Now, go give her a bubble bath. That's better, she liked that. She's not red anymore. Parenting level two, Red can now influence kids to do homework. Red can now firmly tell his kids not to do any do bad behaviors. He can also select more options when responding to teaching moments. Why don't you go ahead and put her here while you make some food? Have some uh, fruit salad. And now I can't tell you to look at your toys because I can't, I can't command you. I can't click on you. So difficult. This house turned out so cute. So nice. So nice. Oh no, she's sad. Level two cooking. Tummy time. That's not tummy time. 
Why are you feeding her again? You literally just fed her. Can you put her down? Do tummy time with her. I don't know what you want, Lilac. <laughs> She's like, I'm tired. All right, I'll put you to sleep. Actually, you can go to sleep there. Come here and add birds. I think she's trying to go to sleep. Apollo would like to come over to hang out. Um, sure, you can come over. Oh, he's coming on in, all right. Where are you going? Do I have a computer up here? Yes, I do. <sighs> Everyone but the household. And reset. Okay, that's complete. So come over here and change Navy's diaper. Lilac is not having a good day. Better? No? Um, give him some food. I don't want no food. I don't know what you want, kid. I'm a picky eater. What is this, Apollo? See, this is why I don't let people come over. You're weird. Oh, you're feeding him again? All right. Why don't you bring him out here so he can do tummy time and give her a bubble bath because maybe that'll make her feel better. I'm gonna watch TV. Why are you coming over here and watching my stuff? Oh, that's a giant TV. All right. Oh, she's playing. Cool milestone unlocked for Navy. Where are you? You're putting her in her brother's crib. Okay. Whatever. Now. You gonna put that away? Thanks. Um. Now what are we doing? What? Why? Why? No! Tummy time. Excuse you. Tummy time. What are you doing? I hate Sims. I hate Sims. I hate Sims. I hate Sims. What are you doing? Why? Why? Oh my gosh. She was perfectly fine in the crib. Why did you take her out and put her on the floor? Are you going to do tummy time? No, I'm not. Why would I? Lift mile head my lift head milestone unlocked. Cool. I think he's gonna go to sleep. All right. Well, kid, you go to sleep. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and take a bath. Apollo, can you please get out of my bathroom? Come on, shoo out. What are you crying about, kid? I should get going. Bye. Go to sleep already. Thank you. <sighs> Quiet. Sleep. Indigo. Hey, Red, I have a crush. No, you don't. First blowout milestone. Change her diaper and then give her a bubble bath. Yuck. Give him some food. Are you broken? Of course you're broken. Where'd she go? Um. Really? 
play lullaby, sleepy baby sleep, and put her down. There. Bring her inside. Red can now help kids solve their basic motives like bladder, hygiene, and fun. He can also give parenting tips to other parents. Cool. Now, come in here. Put lilac down and then play. This so she can go to sleep. You're poopy again? Okay, kiss her goodnight. Don't do anything else but kiss her goodnight. She needs to go to sleep. Upgrade this too. You're so tired, go to sleep. Thank you. All right, you're gonna have to come over here and have some food. And then you're gonna have to feed the baby, the other baby, garden salad. Feed the baby. What do you want? Well, you know, he's hungry. Thank you. All right, now what do you want, kid? You're still angry. Why don't you change his diaper? Yeah, I know, you're tired. That's better, okay. Why don't you put him down? Reach milestone unlocked, cool. Reach milestone unlocked. You guys are just gonna have to stay down here. This little guy sounds like he's tired, so go ahead and soothe him to sleep. Play lullaby. Get her, change her dirty diaper. Now, come over here and go to the bathroom and then just go ahead and feed her. Retail employee dream, okay. I have to pee. I have to pee so bad we're going to the bathroom together, baby. Really? Coo milestone unlocked. I don't know what you want, kiddo. You are sleepy. Put her to sleep. Are you gonna do what I tell you to do? Like, turn on the thing so she can go to sleep. Soothe her to sleep. What is your issue? Go to sleep. Thank you. Change Navy's diaper. Oh, he's going to sleep too. Leave him alone. I don't get it. You're supposed to be asleep. Give him a bottle, please. Finally, since I don't have aging on for this save file, I'm going to age these kiddos up on Tuesday. Or maybe we'll just age them up today. Because I don't, infants, they're not fun. Okay. Put Navy to sleep. Oh, here. Change his diaper. There. Now, play a lullaby and put him to sleep because he did not sleep long enough. Okay, come up here and go to sleep. We're aging them up today. Since I can't age them up like that, I'm gonna just do it like this. Time for you guys to age up. Toddler. And toddler. You're gonna be silly. And you're gonna be, no, we're not dating wild. The wild is broken. Inquisitive, okay. All right, now I get to put all your stuff back on you. Okay, here's Lilac in her alien, everyday, formal, sleepy time, party wear, swim wear, sw uh, hot weather wear, and cold weather wear. Now her disguise, this is her everyday, formal, 
sleepy time. Party wear, swimwear, hot weather wear, and cold weather wear. Okay, and here's Navy in his alien everyday formal sleepy time party wear swimwear hot weather wear and cold weather wear now for his disguise every day formal sleepy time party wear swimwear hot weather wear and cold weather wear okay guys let me know what you guys think of them as toddlers let's get rid of these all right they have beds yay i am going to leave this episode here thank you so 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 much for watching if you haven't already done so please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content i have on my channel also make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode if you have any thoughts or ideas that you would like to see let me know in the comments below i hope you're all having a great day or night and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one take care and toodles